peeps what's up it's josh how we doing welcome back to the channel guys it has been such a crazy freaking month of october um so again as in the last video and all that stuff i apologize for just the absence right at first i thought it was going to be a couple of weeks and then it turned into a month and then a freaking month and a half and it's just freaking life gets in the way you know but here we are we are back we are doing our thing and guys like i said it has been nuts and i didn't realize how crazy october was but quite literally we had two free evenings here at malvern manor meaning there's not a lot of time to record anything create anything and now October is obviously starting to wind down a little bit. The temperature is definitely dropping. And so now things I think are going to start to kind of level out. Now I do have a lot of traveling still left to do. Um, but like I said, it's been busy. There have been people here literally every night. I have been sick uh, for like the last week now. I've been sick and I mean, I don't get sick like this but this was definitely the flu um, it really decided to knock me on my butt and i do believe that it was probably due to the fact that it, like i haven't been sleeping for shit um, so anyway here we are back at it guys this this video this was a lot of fun to do what was interesting, I guess, the most to me was the fact that I didn't think much was actually happening, but yet there was more going on than I initially thought, which sometimes I guess does happen, right? Like, oh, we, we think nothing really significant is happening until we go home and we start to review the evidence, right? Well, and that is exactly what happened in here. So I have done my best to tag uh, the different things um, that were going on, you know, with specifically with the um, with the portal device. Um, certain things that were being said that also seemed to be rather pertinent, and it was pretty freaking cool, like to see all this happen. But um, anyway, one of the coolest things, guys, that we finally, finally, finally get to implement into these investigations is LIDAR technology, which LIDAR, like the previous video, uh, my buddy Bobby, who is in that video, he was the one that developed this device, and it is a LIDAR detector. It hooks directly into that same tablet that we use for the XLS and all that. So what it does is it scans the entire room, and it's constantly spinning but it's mapping the whole room and so what i also did was i made it so you can see what's going on with the lidar that's going to be put up in the top right corner as you're watching this right um, so at the top right corner you're going to see the square that will be the entire room and then on and within that square, you're going to be able to see exactly where I am. So what this is doing is it's mapping movement. Um, so you'll be able to see my feet specifically. You'll be able to see my feet as they are moving throughout. Um, the other thing that I really wanted to try then to implement is when we are hearing specifically, like up in the attic, when we are hearing those Footsteps, those disembodied footsteps that seem to be right on top of you or right behind you or whatever. I wanted to see if we're going to be able to see movement like on the LIDAR. So definitely keep your eyes peeled and keep looking kind of up in that upper right hand corner of the screen where you're going to see the live shot of what's happening, you know, real time as the investigation is unfolding. Pretty interesting equipment. Um, again, like I am all about implementing new pieces of equipment and new technology, especially to try and aid 
us in our adventures here, right? And try to aid us just in, in progressing the, the paranormal field because it seems to have fallen stagnant, right? It's like, yeah, we have new pieces of equipment, sure. But we have ultimately the same pieces of equipment that we did 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. It's still EMF detectors. It's still audio technology. It's things like that. But people like, like my buddy Bobby, uh, I mean, shit, people like my buddy Paul Kosas, right? Who are actively taking steps to further the field and take it a step further. Like that's what really interests me the most. Um, Cause I, I, I feel that we are so damn close guys. I feel like we're so damn close to getting more answers. Um, you know, more definitive answers in fact, but I guess we'll see what happens, right? But for now, I want you guys to watch this video and I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, and I'll be popping in and out of here, obviously, as the video progresses too. But we'll talk to you in just a little bit. Looky here. All right, successfully made it up. So now, guys, I wanted to show you this real quick before I really get to rocking and rolling here, okay? Have this interesting thing here. I'm going to up my ISO a little bit so we can actually see the hell's going on anyway this cool device right over here right this is the new lidar made by our good pal Bobby um, so what this is doing guys is on this screen here and you will notice that I am on the screen even though you probably can't see me too well right but if you look right down here, let me get everything kind of into focus a little more. You look right down in this area, you'll see two dots. That is my feet. I'm going to take two steps to the right. One, two. See those dots move? One, two. Pretty cool, huh? So, this is going to be... This is going to be amazing technology to use, especially when we start to see things move around. Now, this is also being recorded right now, so it is screen capturing everything, um, so you don't have to worry about capturing it on this camera. We can just worry about capturing it on that. Hello. All right. So guys, the reason why I'm up here, earlier today, I was giving a tour. Um, during this tour, had a broom that was sitting off in this corner right here. It was standing up, I will say that, um, with the bristles down. Um, the group that I was showing was standing roughly here. So in conjunction, probably at least eight feet away. I was positioned over there by that large black pipe. I was discussing the fact that the crawl spaces were back here and blah, blah, blah. Then, as I'm talking, I'm standing, like I said, roughly here, group is right there. 
my attention is turned over here and I am basically just talking about the crawl spaces themselves. We hear a very loud crash. The loud crash was right here in the center then of the floor. Um, there was two crashes. The first was the broom. The broom again that was sitting over here in this back corner had then flown all the way over here towards the group. Um, obviously they freaked out a little bit, but right after that, the broom crashes down. This beer can also crashes down uh, and then lands, you know, rolls into that little recess right there where the floorboard used to be. But anyway, as you can imagine, it obviously caused quite the, the ruckus. Um, and needless to say, the, the, the tour was pretty much over for, for those fine people, those fine patrons. So guys, I do have a few pieces of equipment. Obviously I have three cat balls that are kind of sporadically placed throughout up here as well. I did bring the portal device as well, EDI. We are going to turn on the EDI. Turn it on, see if we can get that going. I am also going to then put it on the EMF mode. So it is on EMF mode right now. So as you can see, it is reading 0, 0.0. So completely flatlined and in case we need it. Another K2 meter right over there. Really, really, really hoping that we get some good stuff with this LIDAR. It should be interesting to see. I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. Right now, I'm gonna fire up the portal device. I'm gonna see if we can get that kind of up and going. Well, hello. We are already off and running, huh, guys? No. You know, I have a question. Yeah. So my question for you is who threw the broom today? Broom. Who threw it? I'm going to turn this up a little bit, guys. It's just a little too quiet for my taste. Who threw the broom? Well, who's me? Who's me? All right, so I am now positioned in the back corner of this room. I'm also looking at the LiDAR currently. I can see my two feet. I do see something flashing over here. What? So guys, there was one really interesting thing that happened fairly early on in the investigation. I had kind of positioned myself back into one of the corners uh, or as close to the corner as I could really get or whatever without you know falling through the floor or what have you. But I had mentioned the LIDAR, right? And I had mentioned like looking at the LIDAR and I, I'm trying to remember exactly, but I was like looking at the LIDAR and saying how like interested I was in it. Um, because I was trying to see anything anomalous, right? But 
I think I had seen something kind of flicker or flash like in the opposite corner, like the same side of the room, just the opposite corner of where I was. And so I kind of pan the camera over uh, trying to see anything anomalous, right? And that I had the portal going and it said something to the effect of watch it move. I'm like, wait a minute. Like, watch what move? Watch me move? Watch it move? Watch what move? Are they addressing the LIDAR? Are they somehow like privy to this? But, and I may have, and I kind of caught myself a little bit, and I may have screwed myself in this respect because what I should have done is just set up the equipment and not said a word about it. I should have just set it up and not said a word about it. Leave the explanation for this portion of the video, right? For the OTF, if you will, of this video. Um, so I set it up and I explained myself. I explained what this technology was and what it was doing and blah, 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 and how it works and all that. But were they listening? Like, is it feasible that... They're like, oh yeah, thanks for the heads up. Now we know exactly how you want to capture us, how you want to record us, document us, right? So maybe I screwed myself because that threw me for a loop, the whole watch it move. I'm like, oh, so are they looking at the screen and watching my feet or, or what? Or were they just telling me Hey, look over there, watch it, watch it move. I don't know. Who are you? Okay. I can't wait to review some of this, guys, because, again, a lot of times I don't catch it on the fly. Fire. Yeah, was there a fire up here? You see all that fire damage up here? Yeah. Who am I speaking with, please? Just stop it. Am I annoying you? Do I annoy you? If I do, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be annoying. It's cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Okay, I'm listening. I said, listen. Oh my God. Guys, I was hearing footsteps 
And what was weird about it, and what's kind of cool about it also, is the fact that you're very audibly hearing footsteps going on around me. However, looking at the LiDAR in the upper right-hand corner, like, there's no movement. You can clearly see where my feet are positioned, and they're clearly positioned even right by that, uh, that chimney that's also mapped out on the thing. I'm standing completely stationary. Now, I'm also moving the camera around, sure. My feet are completely stationary. They are not moving at all. So what was causing these footsteps? I have no idea. Now, what's also fascinating is the fact that we're hearing footsteps and not necessarily seeing anything anomalous on the LiDAR. I'm hearing footsteps. Is that what you were telling me to listen for? I'm going to walk now. Is that what you were telling me to listen for? Just out of curiosity. I'm going to try to turn, turn up the device a little bit more. Hopefully that works. I heard footsteps. Who was that? Listening. I mean, I'm, I'm listening, guys. Josh. Yeah. It's me. What did I just hear over here in this corner? What was that? It sounds like you guys are saying all sorts of weird stuff, but it's not making a lot of sense to me. Were you guys around earlier? Were you around when the when the uh, the broom flew? Did you see that happen? <laughs> did you see 
Did you see the broom fly at me? Yes, sir. Yep, okay, so who threw it? What? Guys, I just heard a voice, or excuse me, I heard a name come through. Yeah. What was the name that you just said that threw the broom? I have no idea. I'm moving my, moving my lav mic up just a little bit, guys. Sorry about that. All right. Doctor. All right. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to turn this off for a little bit. Sure. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to turn it off for just a little bit. Thank you. I want to know like is it possible for you to I mean is it possible to even knock on something? Can you do that for me? Is that possible? Like if I just if I just stand here and, and just not move, can you knock on something maybe over there? I heard a tap. I almost want to call it a false positive. Okay, I heard another tap. What about those two little cat balls that are on the floor over here? Is there a way you could like I mean, make them light up in some way. Is that possible? That's all me moving right there, guys. Nothing there. So I do have the, the two cat balls there and just the one over here. Kind of sitting by these beer cans and all of that fun jazz.
gosh. Guys, I don't know if it's picking it up or not, but there are footsteps all around me. There's another. Holy crap. Oh my God. Okay, guys, that's Jesus. So, guys, there's interesting things that happen during investigations where you don't really know what you've captured until you're reviewing everything, right? And it's not until then that the really scary stuff sometimes seems to happen and it's like, oh my God, like it's, that's what's really giving you the goosebumps, right? So this was no different than that. Like I'm reviewing everything and I hear what sounds like a female voice and it almost to me sounds like talking for sure like a conversation is going on but then it also sounds like crying and like somebody's in distress in some way which never sits well with me at all so it was very disturbing hearing something like this especially picking it up on seemingly just this camera or excuse me this lav mic audio um because I didn't hear it. I couldn't hear this audibly go on. And I think that I would have noticed something like that. I would have called it out in some way, but I mean, I didn't. And so that was one of those things where it's like you're going through everything, kind of rewatching everything, and then you catch it and you're like, what the hell was that? Um, so that was definitely one of those moments for me. putting the K2 meter in my back pocket. I'm going to turn on our portal. Hello. Wow, that's really going, all right. Let me know. Come on. Hi. Okay. Guys, I appreciate you taking the time and speaking with me tonight. Whoa, okay. Pretty good knock over here. Bump or footstep or something. Yeah, who was that? But who was it? What the hell? He did. Okay, well, who's walking around? Me. Help me out here, guys. Goodness. You know, it's the second time I could have swore I've heard the name Luke. Is your name Luke? Was that?
Okay. So twice now I could have swore I heard the word chicken and then afraid. But if that's the case, why don't you test me? Test me. Not for nothing, guys, but if you can throw a broom across the room here, then, I mean, you should easily be able to chuck one of these beer cans at me, right? It shouldn't be a problem, right? Wouldn't wake up. I, I could use the rest. Let's go. Something. Is this where you guys like to hide? Is that where you're hiding? Back through over here? You know, guys, not for nothing, but again, yet again, I kick something. In this case, it was a cat ball. The cat ball that was sitting all the way over meow, I just kicked it over meow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Again, it's not a video. It's not a video. It's not a video if I'm not kicking something, moving something, or screwing something up. God in heaven. Wussy. Well, I mean, I mean not for nothing, but... Prove it. Prove I'm a wussy. I want to see. Make me scared. Scare me. Oh, oh yeah. All right, that was pretty good. That was a child's voice. I don't know if you guys heard that. They said, like, let's do it or something like that. That's pretty weird. The one that's most humorous, I guess, to me is the fact that it called me a wussy, right? And sure, I'll give you that. I'm a little jumpy every once in a while, more than every once in a while. I'm, I'm a little jumpy, right? Never used to be jumpy, started working here. Kind of, I, I guess, uh, I, I don't know. It, it just comes with the territory, I suppose. Call it an occupational hazard, I suppose, I don't know. But it's interesting because it calls me a wussy. And I said, all right, well, maybe I am a wussy, but prove it, right? Like, prove that I'm a wussy. Like, legitimately scare me. Do something that's going to scare me. And there was this creepy little girl voice that comes through and it says, let's do it. Almost like it's this little kid or whatever that's like talking to her buddies or whatever. She's like, let's do it, you know? And like, let's scare this dude or whatever. And that was enough for me. To... <laughs> Guys, do you hear that off in the distance? What is that? A train. Yes, you hear the train? Benjamin, hello. Hello. Well, I'm looking for somebody who maybe wants to like touch one of these cat balls. Or somebody that just wants to prove to me definitively that you're here. Answer. It's Josh. I mean, yeah, it is me. It's definitely me. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. Sorry for coughing in your face, guys. Let's go. 
believe it. Let's go. Guys, I want to know what happens when we pass away. What happens to us? Do you guys know that you have passed away? Can you tell me what happens when we pass away? <laughs> yep. What is it? I'm not catching what you're saying. So what is it? What really happens to us? Tell me please. What kind of noise was that? Yeah. <laughs> I think it just said, dude, what? That beeping noise, what the hell? Whoa, hey, baby. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Yeah, I was going to go peek over here in your little hidey hole. What the frick? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I mean, not for nothing, guys, something touched my back. Like, something just touched my back. Freaking lights going off. It wasn't hard. It wasn't aggressive. It wasn't anything like that. It was something like a hand on the small of my back, just right there. Who did that? Huh? No, did one, did you, one of you touch me? That's what I want to know. Who touched me? I said I was coming over here. I was going to... Jesus. I said I was just going to peek back here. Now yeah, watch your mouth. Well, I appreciate it, like your time. Guys, let me ask another question real quick, please. And I'll leave you alone, I promise. Can I, can I do anything for you? Do you need anything? Tell me what you need. Can I help you? Can I help you? Ask you what? No, 
Okay. Remind what? That was definitely me, obviously, that set that ball up. I was trying to test its sensitivity, guys. Yeah? Huh. Good luck. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, I'm shutting this off, guys. Thank you. I hope you have a good night. Good night. And I'll say goodbye. Can you, can you say goodbye? Goodbye. Interesting. Thank you, guys. I'm going to try to turn some stuff off. Thank you guys for your time. I appreciate it. I'm going to leave you alone. I do hope you have a good evening. Yeah, we'll just turn all this stuff off. Guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video, this was a really cool investigation for me. It was a lot of fun. Again, it was a lot of fun implementing new uh, technology, new pieces of equipment, things like that. I am really excited to see where this goes and how this progresses. Um, working on some stuff right now that would be able to allow us to then view what's happening inside of a location real time. Um, so we could do this live even, um, where we could use that LiDAR technology live and it would just broadcast to wherever we needed to broadcast uh, so we could all see exactly what's going on um, at that location, right? Like I think that would be a lot of fun for us. I think it would be interesting, especially like I said again, to to remove the investigator from the investigation itself and to see how a building reacts without human influence. I think that right there is kind of the next, the next major step in this. Seeing how spirits behave if they don't realize they're even being watched. Like, nobody's here. We can act how we want. We can do whatever we want. Like, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens. But guys, thank you again for, for everything. All the love, the support, all of that fun jazz. I am finally starting to feel human again. Um, like I said, man, I was down for like a week and it sucked. So here I am. Still not 100%, but I'm doing all right. Definitely better than I have been for the past week. That is for sure. But guys, I hope each and every one of you is doing amazing. Thank you again for for all the support that you guys give me and we will talk to you all very soon. Peace.